And Fox 45 is also keeping an eye on the Maryland Senate primary. As our poll shows, Congressman David Trone has a 16-point lead over Prince George's County Executive Angela Alsobrooks. Today, Trone picked up a key endorsement from someone in Alsobrooks' backyard. Fox 45's Keith Daniels says the update and how recent endorsements could be shaping Maryland's political future. Keith. Well, Kai, we talked to a familiar face in Baltimore politics this evening. He told me that endorsements from candidates that the people trust could make a difference at the polls. And tonight, a look at another political ingredient that could make a difference. It's the season of politics at play, both locally and statewide. A time when political allegiances among candidates are made, kept, or broken. Tonight, there's no more allegiance. You know that. A closer look at what some observers believe could be the end of a once key ingredient to an election campaign. Jack Young, former mayor of Baltimore City, who lost this election in 2020 on the seemingly current shift in allegiances among contenders who might surprise when throwing their support. It's the new generation of elected officials that want to show that they're independent. There's no allegiance anymore. Uh, people feel as though, hey, I'm going to make the best decision that I want to make um, for who I want to see in office. Case in point, perhaps. I am officially endorsing her campaign for the United States Senate. Mayor Brandon Scott's endorsement of Prince George's County Executive Angela Alsobrooks in her run for U.S. Senate. But Alsobrooks, when asked several times by Fox 45's Rebecca Pryor, you also be endorsing Mayor Scott's campaign? Ms. Alsobrooks, will you be endorsing Mayor Scott for in his re-election? Excuse me, Ms. Alsobrooks, will you also be endorsing Mayor Scott in his re-election? Alsobrooks refusing to reciprocate Scott's endorsement. And also Brooks challenger David Trone picking up an endorsement Thursday from PG County State's Attorney Aisha Braveboy, also Brooks successor at the state's attorney's office. And in Baltimore, Ivan Bates, the city's top prosecutor, not endorsing the city's top elected leader, Mayor Scott. Instead, Bates endorsing former Mayor Sheila Dixon, pointing to her tough on crime track record. He have a right to say what he feels that is not working for him. Because his job, and he won because he said he was going to hold people accountable. And he's doing that. And regarding allegiances, for Young, only one thing matters. People are getting elected, and, you know, their only allegiance is to their constituents who got them elected. Well, Young, who's never shy about voicing what he thinks, weighed in on the Baltimore mayor's race tonight. He told me who his candidate of choice was, and that is Sheila Dixon. We're live tonight, Keith Daniels, Fox 45 News. I'm Mary Bubala, thank you for watching. Here's another video for you to watch. Also take some time to subscribe to our YouTube channel.